Brothers and sisters, I come to you today with a heavy heart. I'm reminded of a teacher who asked her students one day in her third grade class, which happened to be a very diverse class. She said, children, what do you want to be when you grow up? And a little black boy responded, alive. And as simple as that may sound, I believe that that is the overwhelming response from so many people in our country right now, especially people of color. Meaning at the end of the day, black people, especially black men, just want to be alive. And even though every life matters and every life has worth, unfortunately, America's history forces us to emphasize that black lives also matter. Now this is no excuse for violence. Let me be clear, violence is not the answer. And those who are perpetuating this and putting others at risk during these violent demonstrations need to stop. As a matter of fact, I'm reminded of Donald Glover, also known as Childish Gambino, who shook the internet a couple of years ago with the music video entitled, This Is America. And it's a telling piece of art that inspects the contrast between culture and violence between the past and the present, and then raises the pivotal question, is this the America that our ancestors paid for? In other words, is this what living through slave ships and master's whips paid for? Is this what living through lynching trees and biting dogs paid for? Is this why Medgar Martin and Malcolm died? Is this why our great grandmothers and great grandfathers worked all day and prayed all night? Is this why our ancestors picked cotton all day and share crop for dying? Is this why fathers worked two jobs and mothers birthed white men's babies and scrubbed some other woman's floors just so their children's children could loot, set cities on fire, damage property, and shoot and kill one another? Is this what we paid for. However, I don't want to overlook the underlying systematic issue in our country that has existed for over 400 years, and that is racism is still alive and well. I believe John Blake, a contributor on CNN, got it right when he said just the other day, there's one epidemic we may never find a vaccine for, and that is the fear of black men in public spaces. And with that being said, I want to encourage you today to pray for our nation. Pray for our cities, pray for our government, and please don't forget to pray for the family of Ahmaud Arbery, a 25-year-old black man who was shot to death by two white men while jogging right here in the state of Georgia. Also pray for the family of George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man who was held down with the knee of a white police officer literally on his neck as he stated over and over again, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, shortly after he died. I'll leave you with this quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. where he says, a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is it that America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the plight of the Negro poor has worsened over the last few years. It has failed to hear the promises of freedom and justice have not been met. And it has failed to hear that large segments of white society are more concerned about tranquility and the status quo than about justice, equality, and humanity. As long as America postpones justice, we stand in the position of having these recurrences of violence and riots over and over again. Social justice and progress are the absolute guarantors of riot prevention. I'm Pastor Robinson, and as always, I still see us in our future, and we're still looking much better than we're looking right now. Grace and peace.